Today we're learning about fractions that are equivalent to one whole. Let's say you ordered a pizza, and you get this entire pizza delivered to your door. You'd say that you have one whole pizza. But you could also say your pizza's been cut up into slices. You'd say that you have eight pieces of pizza, and the pizza was cut up into a total of eight slices. So as a fraction, you have eight eighths of a pizza. But now let's look at a different pizza. This one's been cut up a little differently, but it's still a full pizza. It's still one whole pizza. But as a fraction, we would now say that we have four slices out of a total of four. So it's four fourths of a pizza. Here's some other examples too. This is a whole pizza, but as a fraction, it would be two halves. This whole pizza would be written as three thirds. What I want you to notice from all of these examples is that they were each one whole pizza, but that the number one whole can be written with all sorts of different fractions, two halves, three thirds, four fourths, or eight eighths. Notice that one whole, it's always equal to a fraction that has the same number as the numerator and the denominator. That's the important idea to remember from this video. Whole numbers can be written as fractions, and one whole, it's always equal to a fraction with the same numerator and denominator. Now let's take a look at some of these problems together. Let's go ahead and label this model. Well, let's do this just like we would for any other fraction. How many pieces has this square been cut into? Well, you can see the square, it's cut into one, two, three, four, five, six total pieces. So the denominator of the fraction will be a six. Now, how many pieces are shaded in the model? Well, we could again count that one, two, three, four, five, six pieces are shaded. So the numerator of the fraction is six. Now, when we look at this fraction, what's special about six sixths? Remember, we just looked at some examples similar to this with our pizzas. This fraction represents one whole. One whole square is shaded in which is the same thing as saying six of the sixths are shaded in. Let's take a look at another of these together. Let's look at this number line and figure out how to write one whole on it using a fraction. Well, the first thing we wanna do is we have to figure out what fractions are being shown on this number line. So first, what's the denominator of these fractions? Well, we can count there's a total of one, two, three pieces on the number line. So these are thirds, the denominator is a three. Knowing this, how can we write one whole as a fraction? Well, if you weren't sure, you could have just counted that it's one-third, two-thirds, and one whole will be three-thirds. But if you remembered the pattern from earlier in this video, you'd also remember one whole is always equal to a fraction with the same numerator and denominator. So once you found that denominator of three, you know three-thirds is one whole. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. How can you write one whole using a fraction on this number line? Well, this number line's been split into five total pieces, and so the denominator's five. Now, if you remember the pattern we noticed earlier, that means you automatically know one whole will be five-fifths. But if you weren't sure, you can always check by counting one-fifth, two-fifths, three-fifths, four-fifths, five-fifths, and finding that five-fifths is in fact equal to one whole. Now here's one last problem for this video. Label this model. There are five total pieces in this model, so the denominator is five. And again, all of those pieces are shaded, so the numerator is five as well. This is another example of five-fifths, and it's again showing one whole. Great work. Now you know how to write one whole using fractions. That's all for now, and stay tuned for next time.